Everyone was in the 10th and Ty was in the 9th. We came here from Louisiana and uh, Aaron had went to West Mesquite. And I never forget him coming home. He said, Mama, you gotta see this little guy. Say, he little, but he fast. And I was like, what's his name? And he told me and all that. And that's where him and Ty, they just became the best of friends. Ty Jordan, Aaron Lowe, both Dallas area kids, West Mesquite High School, standout players, good friends through high school. Aaron was a Utah guy. He committed to Utah as soon as Utah kind of made that offer. He was in, he wanted to be here. Ty was a little bit different. He had 26 offers. 26 colleges looking for him, checking for him, wanting him to go there. All of the places he could have went, we were like, Utah? What's in Utah? Like, n knew nothing about Utah at all. Why so far away? Aaron played a big role in that. <laughs> Aaron felt like Ty needed to be with him. I'll never forget Ty coming out there for a game, and he was with Aaron, and, you know, and it was, on from then, he was going to Utah. The true freshman, Ty Jordan. Ty Jordan, see you later. Touchdown, Utah. Jordan skips, dunks, touchdown, Ty Jordan. Player of the game, game ball, Ty Jordan. I can't explain it with words. It was just so amazing and so exhilarating. I felt like I made my mom proud. That program stepped in when his parents could not. Uh, his mom had passed away. His father is in prison. But I could just see that they were going to nurture him back to where he needed to be. That little happiness that he lost when Tiffany passed away, had he had time. They were really going to nurture him back to where he needed to be. We begin with heartbreaking news. North Texas native and Utah star running back Ty Jordan was killed in Denton this weekend. They supposed to have been together actually the night that it happened to Ty. They all supposed to have been together, but they decided, Aaron decided to stay at home. And I don't know who called him, but somebody called him. And I heard him scream. And I jumped up, I said, are you okay? And he was bawling. I just remember like, feeling like I was underwater. Like I couldn't breathe. Everything shut off. We prayed. We did a lot of praying. It got better, but he never forgot. I mean, it was like, everything he done was it was for Ty. Mama, this is for Ty. He left a big impact on this program. I mean, it, it changed. It brought up, like, his death brought us together even closer, you know what I'm saying, than we was last year. That's why I'm saying, like, this year, this year will be for 22. Utah fans, good afternoon and welcome inside of Rice Eccles Stadium and homecoming here at the University of Utah. It's the Utes of the Washington State Cougars. Garantano steps, fires outside, intercepted by Clark Phillips. 15, 10, 5, it's a house call, it's a pick six, and it's a Utah win. It is certainly a great day to be a Ute, and great to get that first Pac-12 win here at home. Did you talk to him that day? No, I had talked to him that Friday. He was eating, and he was, Mama, I'll call you back, I'm eating. I said, okay, baby. He never called me back. Aaron Lowe was shot and killed last night at a house party in Salt Lake City. Hours after celebrating, the Utes went over Washington State. Devastating news for the Utah football program. I called Coach Shaw, and he said, let me call you right back. And when he called me back, I could hear it in his voice before he, when he said, Mama, I knew he was finna tell me my child was dead. And that's what he said. He said he didn't make it. Yeah. This has been the hardest two months of my life. I stayed in bed that whole day. Didn't go anywhere. Couldn't get out of bed. Wouldn't get out of bed. I was just 
devastated. I mean, it was like reliving Ty all over again. Aaron, I know you can hear us. And I want to say collectively that we love you. I'm truly grateful to have had the privilege to coach you. I'll always keep you in my mind and my heart forever. The Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and the Southern California Trojans prepare to take on the Utes of Utah. This was a Utah football team that was still wobbly. You know, they hadn't found their footing yet. They had beaten Wazoo, but then they had that horrific two weeks of dealing with Aaron's death. I just, I didn't know how they would play. And then the game began and they just started playing. Lee Flicker down the middle. He's got a man open in the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Turn it again again. Thomas, second level. He's got the 30. There he goes! 10 5 touchdown! I kind of felt like everything that had built up for that week and a half after the tragedy. They kind of let out. They let out their frustration, they let out their anger, they let out their, their sadness, and they let out their, their joy, and they just went out there and played, and, and they played a great game. And now, fans, we ask you, Please turn your attention to the press box located on the west side and help us count down the official retiring of number 22 in honor of Aaron Lowe and Ty Jordan. Let's hear it, fans, for the families of Ty Jordan and Aaron Lowe. It was amazing to look up there and you seen Lowe sitting up there in the stands, but it's real hard. It's not a day go by that I don't think of him. This is not something that's just gonna go away. Utah fans, good evening and welcome inside of Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the Pac-12 championship game, Utah against Oregon. We've been working for this. You know, it's a tie, you know, it's an ALO. Let's go get this. This stadium is 75% red right now. Aaron Lowe's mother is here as an honorary captain for this Utah team. Utah fans come to their feet here at Allegiant Stadium. Brown's got time, fires over the middle, intercepted. It's picked off, a pick six for Devin Lloyd. Touchdown. I'm going to get you another one. I'm going to get you another one, man. Just now, the moment of loudness, they call it in Utah. Ty Jordan and Aaron Lowe. Cam changing the direction of the play here. Turns and gives it to Tavion. Straight ahead, walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Tavion Thomas. And the Utes have stuck a dagger in the ducks. Utah fans, after so much heartache, after so much turmoil, the dream has been realized. The Utes are Pac-12 champions. Next stop, the Rose Bowl. Let's go, Utah! It's tough to describe. Just so proud of these guys. We love our boys, Ty and Aaron. We miss them, but they were here with us tonight. 22, forever. You can see the change in the team and the people, the love that they've shown and have come together. It felt good to know that that many people could love my child. You know, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and it brought us together. It also brought the team together. You know, I feel like they have this bond. So I think for everybody that's involved, it's an eye opener. How do you honor the men and the teammates that you lost this season? I get in them this right here, man. This is for them. Hey, low time, man, this is for you, man. We love y'all. We love y'all from the bottom of my heart. For years to come, it'll be little kids want to know who is Jordan and who is Lowe. And it'll be a story that they'll tell them. <laughs>